and kindness for grace that is endless love and forgiveness i want to say thank you That's a perfect shot. Just hold it right there. Whatever you're giving me. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. right, can I go get ready for the show now? No, no, just... no, no. I'm still setting up the shot. Okay. Ooh, this looks good. Yeah. That's awesome. I have been standing here for 30 minutes, John. You can't rush I'm art, get... Brandon. Oh, we're making art now? When have we ever not made art? <sighs> here we go. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, I got an idea. Okay. Ready? How much longer? Just hold still. Not much longer. Here we go. Are you ready? Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm going to zoom in. <laughs> And then you're gonna zoom out. You're gonna zoom in. And then you're gonna zoom out. And you're gonna zoom in. Okay, I'm done. Then, I'm what? done. No. I'm done. Okay. Okay. That's fine. it. Fine. Fine. Go take a break. Just can you bring your stand in? Then, yeah. Thank you. All right. That's great. That's great. All right. Stay right there. Stay right there. That's why. Perfect. Not you. I'm talking to your stand in. Oh. You are allowed to leave, man. <sighs> Actors. <laughs> <laughs> Glad we got rid of that guy, right? Oh wait, that's perfect. Just hold it right there. Okay. And then we zoom in. Oh yeah, look at those eyes. Then we zoom out. Then we zoom in. Yes! We zoom out. And then we do a spin. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is great. We go faster! 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 Oh! No. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the So and So Show. I'm Brandon. And I'm John Spiders. No. Horses. No. A nail, nails on a chalkboard. No, John. John's trying to figure out what I'm afraid of. Nothing scares you. I, I can't think of anything. Sorry. What if your fingers suddenly turn into worms? Can't really picture that. Oh, here. I'll help. No, I think I'd actually find that pretty fascinating. Anyway, have we got a great show for you today. The power okay. going out. Uh, uh, huh? No. Uh. Storms! Oh, no, I love thunderstorms. <laughs> Can we do the show now? Sure. All right, so today. What about Oreos that have earwax filling? Oh. I find that disgusting, but it's not scary. Oh. Well, we'll see about that, because it's time for a game I call Fear the Filling. Fear the Filling. Here's how this game works. Someone has replaced the normally delicious filling from these Oreo cookies with a filling that may or may not be delicious. All we have to do is taste the Oreo and guess the right flavor. First one to guess two correctly wins the game. Unless, of course, you fear the filling. I don't think so. Let's okay. play. That's great. Filling number one. Ooh, he's scared. No, I am terrified. Ooh. Oh. Oh, it's gross. What is that? Oh. Yeah. It's sunscreen. Sunscreen? How do you know what sunscreen tastes like? I don't want my tongue to get sunburned. Okay. All right. Next filling. All right. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh. Oh man, they're red. Mm. You scared? No. I want to run away screaming. Okay. <laughs> oh, hot, hot, ah. Strawberry? Mm. Uh, mm. Oh! No, no, it's some kind of hot sauce. Mm. Mm. No. Okay, fine. All right. Can oh. I have some milk, please? I got it right. Oh. 
from that hot. You're gonna be okay? Yeah. Thanks, Billy. Like... All right. Oh, it's green. Yeah. No, Nate, don't touch that. It's green. Do you know what that could be? That could be some sort of dangerous mold or grasshopper guts or some sort of radioactive toxin. Don't touch it. I'm not afraid. No, don't, don't. Yeah, you You should you, be afraid. You I'm, no, 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 Brandon, no, 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 Brandon. Mmm, mint. Mm. Guess I win. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys. What's up, Kellen? You got a story for us today? Is this segment called Bible Discussion Time with Kellen? No, it is not. Then yes, I've got a story. Oh, actually, Kellen, can I help tell the Bible story today? I have a feeling I can make it more scary. I mean, I can make it more cinematic, which would be really terrifying, gratifying to our viewing audience. You know, I'm a budding filmmaker, right? I've heard something of the sort. It's true. I'm trending on Twitter. Listen to what people are saying. My son John wants to be a filmmaker. Looks like he won't be moving out of my basement anytime soon. Hashtag retired mom problems. Boom. You know what? Sure, you can help. But do you mind if I do a little setup though? No problem. Okay. Sometime after Jesus died and when he came back to life, there was a guy named Saul who was going from place to place finding people who believed in Jesus and throwing them in jail. But when Saul was on his way to Damascus to arrest even more Jesus followers, he had a miraculous encounter with Jesus himself. Today's story picks up three days after that encounter. Saul has gone without food and drink for three days, and he has completely lost his sight. John, take it away. <laughs> All right. And action. In a land called Damascus. Stop. What, uh, what's that? A wolf. No wolves in Damascus. It's just setting the tone. Sure, but, but there were no wolves. Fine. In no wolves in Damascus. All right. Easy fix. Action. In a land called Damascus there lived an ordinary guy named Ananias. Did I say ordinary? Not so fast. God might have something to say about that. Ananias. Yes, Lord. Go to the house of Judas on Straight Street. Ask for a man from Tarsus named Saul. No! Scary, right? It's not too bad. All right. You asked for it. Lord, I've heard many reports about this Saul. He's come to Damascus to arrest your people, people like me. Surely you don't want me to go to him. Go! I'm just gonna cut in for a sec. That's true, God asked Ananias to go help out a man who should have been his enemy, so Ananias had every reason to be scared. Not sure if God's voice sounded like that, but I don't know for sure, so I'm gonna let that one slide. In any case, Ananias did what God told him to. John? Yep. <laughs> when God tells you to go, you go. What's with the fish? Because of the scales. The scales. Oh, 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 okay, fine. Carry on. 
Would Ananias let fear stop him from doing what God wanted him to do? Uh, Brother Saul, the Lord has sent me to you so you will be able to see. You will be filled with the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Something like scales has fallen from your eyes. That's really great. Though, just in case you were wondering, Saul probably didn't have fish on his face. Just trying to be biblically accurate, Kellen. Yeah, so Ananias helped Saul see again. And I'm telling you, Saul was a completely different human being after that. He got up, he got baptized, and after he got his strength back, he started telling everyone he could that Jesus was the Son of God, which goes to show you, when you go and... Wait, 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 Kellen, the story isn't over yet. You have more. Oh, yeah. This is the really scary, I, 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 mean, I mean, really emotionally moving part coming up. Oh, boy. Saul used to terrify followers of Jesus. Now, it was his turn to be terrified. Saul, you're in danger. Some bad people are going to try and kill you. You have to leave the city. No! Mystery, intrigue, a midnight rescue through a hole in the city wall. Would Saul be safe at last? No. Come on! Shipwrecks, prison, unimaginable persecution. What are you, a mannequin? This man would face trials of these kinds and more for the rest of his life. Saul, who is also called Paul, coming soon. Or is it? Now you're scared, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, a little. Ha! If I follow Jesus, does that mean I'm gonna face trials like Saul for the rest of my life? Ha! I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. Bad stuff is going to happen, and there's gonna be plenty of stuff for us to be afraid of. But here's the good news. When you follow Jesus, you've got someone who's, who's gonna be there to help you face those fears. So sure, Saul went through some stuff, and we're gonna go through some stuff too. But it's not like you have to go through it alone. God will be with us. I feel better already. <laughs> Great. Thanks for your help today, John. Yeah, you're welcome. Hey, let's do it again next week. I mean, that would be terrifying. Uh, I mean, I can't think of another word. Bye. Later, Kellen. Man, I thought my version of the Bible would totally scare you. Sorry, I wish I could help you. I, I just don't know what I'm afraid of. Oh. Well, hey, in that case, reveal the question! Oh, what are you afraid of? Are you afraid of making new friends? Mm, yeah, or are you afraid of missing the bus and having to walk to school and then you can't decide if you should cut through old Farmer Ben's cornfield because that would be faster if his dog Dragon is asleep or if you should take the long walk along the road even though you'll definitely be late and you're paralyzed with indecision and you end up missing the entire day of school but you don't realize you've missed the entire day of school until the bus comes back to the very same spot that afternoon to let your friends off from school. Or maybe you're afraid of snakes. <laughs> yeah, talk about it with each other. What are you afraid of? And we'll see you next time on... The So-and-So Show! I I'm always afraid I'll never get to say that at the end. Bye! So-and-So Show! What, you get to say it a lot. <laughs>